Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking all about home charging. And I'm gonna let you know how I got a seven kilowatt charger for under 600 pounds installed here. So let's get into it. But before we do, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. I've got loads more content coming. So I'm gonna show you my current setup. It's using the Tesla plug that I got with the car, the granny charger. I wasn't expecting to use this, but Tesla gave me a phone call saying they had matched a car to me and within two days it had arrived in my driveway. I didn't have time to get a charger installed. So I'm using what they call a granny charger here. It's a standard 13 amp socket that you put into any outlet you have here in the UK. What this will give you is about two kilowatts per hour of charge. It's not very fast, but it is something. So let's get it plugged in and I'll show you. And there's the famous green Tesla lights. Now because it's a Tesla charger, push the button and the flap opens. He says. But for some reason not today. In goes the plug. A few moments later. Get the blue communication light. A couple of clicks on the charging unit. Green's now charging. Let's head inside and see how quick it's going. As you can see, we're currently charging at two kilowatts, 10 amps at the moment. I'm at 83% battery and the charge limit is set to 90. Now this reckons it's gonna take nearly four hours to charge. So let's snap back to the rear of the car and I'll show you the faster charging. So here we are. And the first thing you're gonna need is one of these. This is the 32 amp commando socket you buy direct from Tesla. It's currently listed at £39 and I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look for yourself. This charge is at 32 amps or 7 kilowatts. So let's go get it plugged in. Simple as that, you're ready to go. So from here, let's take it to the socket. And then we have it, the green Tesla lights. So from here, around the corner, this uh, handy little storage clip for your charging cable. I got this from Tool Station. I'll put a link in the description. There's no affiliate here. It's just to help you guys out. The best thing about this though, it's got a little clip. It doesn't actually come out until you press it. How it comes, again. Open the flap, in it goes. Blue light communicating. And now we're onto flashing green. So let's go inside the car and see the charging rate. Inside the car now, we can see it's ramping the charge up already past the 10 amp mark that the other socket was giving. You can see that the max amperage there, the figure on the right is 32, which is now just reached which this is showing eight kilowatts of charge per hour. I'll put some figures on the, uh, on the left-hand side of the screen now for you to look at to see the actual charging speed and what this would mean from a full charge from an empty battery on the three pin plug and then on this one. So how did I get this all installed for less than 600 pounds? Well, as you can see coming out the bottom of my fuse board, there's a large black wire this is installed by an electrician from Checker Trade. He then took this wire into the back garden behind the gate here and put in this 32 amp commando as I requested. I think this is similar to the NEMA 1450 that's out in the United States that gives roughly 7 kilowatts as well.
All told, the total cost of this install, including parts and labour, is £544. Not bad for 7 kilowatts, when normally it's over 1000 for a dedicated home charger. Well that's all folks, I hope you've enjoyed my home setup of charging for my car. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm not doing that.